Hello and welcome to this series of um, Norris City, as you can see at the top here, which I will be doing for the um, the FM Nutters YouTube channel. Um, obviously, I'm starting with Norwich, uh, it's a club I know a lot about, obviously, as I support them. So, basically, this video, I'm just going to go and have a look through the squad, have a look, and just sort of show you the facilities and the finances of the club, which are a little inaccurate on the, um, the latest update. They were fixed because we actually got out of debt at the end of last season. And uh, apparently on the latest update, we've been uh, chucked right back in it. Uh, so yeah, I've just got to find this quickly, because I'm not really used to this skin. Well, obviously as you can see, it does... No, is it going to show the club in debt? Oh, no, it's just going to show it as that. But it does actually show that we are in debt when you actually select the club, which is quite annoying. But anyway, I'm going to go for the squad now. I'm going to start off with the under 18s, any notable players. Um, yeah, right. There are a few. I'm going to talk about. I'll move them up. I'm going to move them up into the under 21s and uh, send them out on loan as I go. Carl McFadden. He was one of the players who uh, played as a defender. He was one of the people who played in the um, winning season of the uh, FA Youth Cup in 2013. So I'm just going to put him in the under 21 squad, and I will be loaning him out. Um, who's another one? There are some of them. Reesel Johnson. He's actually quite a good player. He's scored quite a lot. Um, for the under 18s anyway. Right, let's just move that. Yeah, I've moved him up already. He's got a good piece. He play, also obviously played in the um, FA um, yeah, FA UA Youth Cup last season. Harry Toffolo is another one. He's quite a good player. Let's move him up. And Cameron McGeer. He's already gone out. He's already out on loan to Luton. So I'm using um, Steve's database. He's, he's the penalty taker. For the, well, was the penalty taker. For the under 18s, I don't think he plays in there anymore because he's obviously gone out on loan. Right, that's it for the under 18s. For the under 21s, there's not many in here. There's Junius Gutierrez, who I will be moving up into the senior squad uh, this season. Luci uh, Luciano Becchio, who I am going to be trying to get rid of at all costs because he's, he's not very good on the game and in real life. Joshua Murphy has been given a huge potential boost. God, I haven't even looked at this. Up. This includes the. Um, Latest sports interactive update, um, and well, could be a world class left winger. That's about right. I reckon he has got the uh, potential to be doing that. Awesome. Well, as I said, I'm, I'm looking to actually give him, uh, put him into the senior squad because I'm going to try and give him some games actually this season. Uh, Jacob Murphy, obviously, is uh, his twin brother. I'm looking to send him out on loan. Um, Adele Gaffiti, I know his um, contract expires at the end of the season, so I'm making sure I sort that one out. Because he's also quite a good player, even though he's a bit underrated on the game. He's also a very good player. Um, be on the bench once, I think, for the first team, and that was against uh, Fulham in the Cup at Cairo. One of the most boring matches I've ever seen. Carlton Morris, he's another good player. I'm debating at the minute in my mind whether to loan him out or to actually put him in the first team, because he's actually quite a good player. And we've got some sort of solid stats there, it's actually quite easy to see him in this skin. Um, Carlton Morris is a very good player. He's definitely going to be sort of one for the future. Um, who else? Uh, Declan Rudd. He's obviously going to be a good player. He come out and come back on loan if we if we don't sell him, of course. Um, so I think oh, it's quite good. Actually, I don't know what to do about him, but I'll think about. It. I'll probably do it in another episode. Like the senior squad. This is obviously the main one now. Um, get up my contract. General information. Let's start with the highest value to lowest value. Some of these values are a bit weird, to be fair. Um, Nathan Redmond, obviously a very young prospect. He's not got as high a potential as um, Joshua Murphy, which I mentioned a minute ago. But he is also he's going to be a very good player, and he's, I'm going to play him quite a lot. That current ability is quite overrated, I think. Quite decent player for most Premier League sides. Maybe most bottom half Premier League sides, but not sort of into the top sort of half yet. Ricky Van Walswinkel, quite goal barren in the game. He looks very young in that picture. Quite goal barren in um, in real life, but he's actually really good on the game. Um, I've had him in a few of my saves, namely Aston Villa after Norwich got relegated. Picked him up quite cheap. He's quite a good player on the game. Robert Snodgrass, obviously um, one of our key players. Quite good on the game as well. He's got a four star report. Let's have a look. Yeah, key player, obviously. A good player for most Premier League sides. Is that better than decent? Anyway, anyway, um, Gary Hooper is in his first game. Johnny Alston, quite another good player. He's quite good in real life, and I'm glad they finally made his stats to reflect that. 
which is going to be quite helpful for this season because he's also going to be um, quite a um, pivotal player. Uh, Leroy Burr, he has started off really well for Norwich actually in real life, but the um, problem is he's now got an injury, so he, I, I don't know how, when he's coming back, but we've only got four games left, and he, I, I don't know if he's going to come back for them or not, and even if he does, he'll probably leave at the end of the season, because that's quite a high wage for us to be able to afford in the Championship. Right, John Ruddy, England keeper now. He should be England's number one. It, and he's got one appearance there, as you can see. He's also a very good player on the game and in real life. He is actually quite fairly reflective because he's also he's a very good keeper in real life. We'd be bottom of the league now with uh, about probably about one point to our name without him. Oh, God, oh, God. oh wait, wait, what? Oh, that's nice to know. I'm activate that. No, I'm not. I'm going to do that if I get relegated. So I just I've got him for the next season. Um, Gary Hooper, one of our newer players. Uh, he's obviously quite good on the game. You can see he's got quite good stats all around. You can see there. Um, he's also on a quite another high wage. So he might. I reckon if we do get relegated in real life, he'll be one of the uh, the people to leave sort of quite relatively soon because. Uh, he has one, he has probably got one of the people who's going to want to leave. He wants to obviously be playing in the England squad. And as you can see, he's not made that quite yet. But I think if he waits for Norwich, he'll get it. But he might not have the same sort of patience as uh, we all hope he does. Uh, moving on, let me click down here. Sebastian Passon. He's quite he's good on the game, as you can see from those stats. He looks very, and in honesty, he's overrated on the game. Because in re last season, he was an absolute tank at the back. He was a brick wall. Played really well most games. Um, let a couple of people slip past him. Not as uh, bad many mistakes as Zach Whitbridge used to make. But he is a good player. But this season he's been a bit disappointing. Um, I, I especially have been disappointed with him. Maybe being a bit leaky at the back all season. All of them have. But um, yeah, he is quite good on the game. So he will be playing a lot. Elliot Bennett, another good player. I'm glad they finally started looking at these players as if, as they really are. Because normally they and they actually don't. They normally underrate the players at the Norwich, especially on uh, games like FIFA. Um, they do it a lot more than these do. But yeah, we now got some uh, good team. I don't know why it's highlighting. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, so I'm a bit, a bit easily distracted. But um, yeah, he's also quite good in real life. He's actually injured at the minute, but I don't think that's on this. No, it's not on the updates. So he'll be playing. Uh, I didn't realise he was injured on the start of this game. Alexander Tetti scored the uh, wonder goal, obviously, against uh, Sunderland. Volley into the top right hand corner. His stats are actually pretty good. He's going to be a good um, working midfielder, but as it says here, balling midfielder, which I'll probably be playing him. Maybe if I play a diamond in that sort of role, just sitting behind the fe sitting behind probably Halson, maybe Johnson, and probably Houlihan up there, but I don't know yet. I'm going to have a look at that probably in another video, or maybe in this video if I have time. Martin Olsen, one of our new summer signings. He's made lots of international appearances. Well, for, it's good for a Norwich player anyway. And obviously, he's going to be a very good left back for this season. We have got Yavi Garrido as well, which I'll probably come across in a minute. But yeah, he'll be playing. Yeah, he'll be playing over him definitely. Russell Martin. I'm glad they have set him as he can play centre back. But he's probably better centre back than he is a right back. So I'll probably be playing him centre back. Maybe training him a bit better. But good all round stats, really, overall. But he's probably a better centre back than he is a right back, so I'll probably be playing him centre back, maybe on the right back. But I, I do like playing um, Stephen Whitaker. He's probably coming up soon. Ryan Bennett, he's another good player. He does develop into quite a good player on the game, so I will definitely be keeping him around. Um, maybe he, and I know he does turn into a good player because I've also had him on another save, which was Masters Villa save. Picked him up relatively cheap when they got relegated, when Norwich got relegated on the game. Um, so, yeah, that's another one. Uh, what have I got to? Bradley Johnson. He's actually. I don't know, what's his passing just out of curiosity? His passing's quite weak in real life, it's not very good, yeah. It's quite, rep quite well represented, not like an average pass, so he does put a lot misplaced sometimes. But uh, yeah, anyway, right. Um, he is a good player. I don't know if he'll be a starting midfielder as of yet, but I do. I will favour, I think, Teti over Bradley Johnson as a matter of preference. Jonas Gutierrez, 
uh, one of our in loan signings. Jesus, he can play, and he can also play a heck of a lot of places. I think he's come on for us and played sort of right back or left back before. Actually, thinking about it, he's a good player. I don't know. If we've I don't. I think in real life we might have a um, a loan to buy option on him, but I'm really not sure. I think he's injured at the minute in real life, but I don't think that's on here as well. Actually, no, he's just come back, saying that. He has just come back, and hopefully he'll be have a load to buy it buy on him, so he'll be with us in the championship next season. Anthony Pilkington, another very good player. Scored a wonderful header against Man United last season to give us a 1-0 win, um, which I remember very well. Uh, it was a very exciting game. But yeah, I've got him. Relegation wage drop on his contract. Right, sorry. Just seeing if I could extend his contract. He did choose Ireland. He could choose England or Ireland. Uh, I don't know why, because in a few years' time, maybe if we, he left Norwich, probably. He'd get into the England squad because he is just that good. But he is another very underrated player. He uses quite a lot of hair gel and fake tan. You can see it from where I sit in the ground. And definitely looks a bit that way. Um, Yavi Garrido, he is a good left back. Signed him this season, I think, I think it was about 1.5 million. Had him on loan the previous season from Lazio. But after that, we ended up um, with uh, Martin Olsen later in the window. And people were going, oh, why do we sign Greedo? But it was already, sorry, already after we'd signed Greedo, before we signed Olsen. Here's the main one that I'm going to talk about in a bit. Um, Joshua Murphy, I already talked about him briefly, I think, a bit. About that five-star potential. An amazing attacking trio there. Right wing is definitely going to be where he looks good, but excellent. This is sort of for a youth team, right? But there, he does look sort of pretty sharp, really. But that in the youth team is going to be amazing. But he will be playing the first team, hopefully, most of the season. Uh, I'll probably make him. I'll probably make him available for under 21s matches, which is probably going to be the uh, the best thing to do for him. But look, he's got good pace. Or just he's, these stats look like they're going to be coming up soon. And I was going to set, keep history after retirement. So if he does retire during my say he won't. But after I complete my few seasons, when he retires, I'll have his record still. Stephen Whitaker, he is actually one of my favourite players for Norwich. He's a really good player. He does score quite. He does score some good individual goals, and he can play a lot of defensive positions. And he is one of the handy players to have on the bench. Really, look, all those positions he can play. He's a very helpful player just to have his back up, to be honest. Any defensive role or left midfield or right midfield, he can cover it. And he's an amazing player as well. Not necessarily reflected on the game, but in real life he is. Michael Turner, not really been playing much recently. He looks like a funny bugger. But he is actually quite a good player on the game. And he put in the, he'll probably be my uh, third choice centre back. I'll probably use, tend to use Bassong and Ryan Bennett quite a lot because I do like Bennett, he's a very good player, I don't know why he hasn't been playing as much in real life, but um, that's beside the point. Um, David Fox, the pass master, his passing should be much higher than that. If you want to see how good he is at passing, I'm sure there are videos on YouTube of his pinpoint passing from the fet, from sort of centre midfield all the way to the wings and things like that, he's an amazing passer of the ball. And he's got quite good determination as well, so I'm looking to, he's, he's getting on a bit now. Not get, I say getting on, getting on for a footballer, um, not getting on in general because he's only 29. Wes Houlihan, um, our oldest, oh, good grief, shave his hair on this picture. Right, he's also quite a good attacking player, very good all round stats. He is one of, he is now our oldest serving player at Norwich. He was here since the championship season before we got relegated to back to League One. I uh, can't remember what year that was now off the top of my head. I think it might have been 2009. It's a long time ago now. Mark Bunn, very good backup keeper. If Roddy leaves in real life, I reckon he'll be perfect in the Championship and even in the Premier League when Roddy was injured um, earlier in the season, or yes, last season. Last season? Yeah, last season, I think it was now. He did a very good job in the net. He was a really good player, really good goalkeeper, kept some really good shots out. Uh, Carlo Nash, um, I'll skip. Yeah, I should go back to Johan Almander. He's got good stats on the game, so he'll be a very good backup because he's just on loan. And I always favour permanent players over those that are on loan because obviously 
if you're going to give a match experience and games to your players, you've got to give them to people who are going to be here or are more likely to be here next season. Joseph Yobo started off very well, but he's as same as Bassong really. He's been a bit leaky at the back. Good leadership from him, and but position is a bit overrated. <laughs> Wish he could do that in real life. But yeah, he is a good player. He nearly made 100 appearances for Nigeria, and I think he's retired as well. So that won't make any more, but I would be able to see that down here, but I don't know how to find that on this skin. Um, and last but not least, Carlo Nash. I had a discussion with a few Norwich fans at Grain Games while we actually signed him, and we all sort of come to the conclusion that he was signed to be a goalkeeping coach after his career. We sort of keep him as a third choice keeper for this season, and then sort of sign him on as a goalkeeping coach at the end of his career when he decides to retire because I think he, he's learned a lot in his let's have a look, when, how long has he been in football? let's have a look, he's learned a lot in all these years and look, the top two flights he must have learned a heck of a lot um, he was, like that big jump, crikey stop, put stop, put back in the championship and he's just joined Norwich there as you can see on a free so yeah I think he'll be, he's obviously learned a lot in these years so he'll obviously be a very good addition to our coaching staff as well as I might go through that. Let's, okay, let's go through that. Some noticeable staff: Stephen Fry, um, David McNally, obviously the main man you speak to. Um, their majority show Matt shareholders. I think um, Michael and Jones, Dean Smith, and the married couple who run the club. Obviously now the actual manager Neil Adams. Um, obviously he's now not with the club anymore. He's not with the club anymore. He was obviously sacked. Along with Chris Hewitt. Um Mark Robson at the minute is a uh, first team assistant manager, along with uh, let me see him. I can remember who it was. No, he's been given it. I uh, don't think I can. Is it John Paul or Paul Charles? I think it's Paul Charles. I think I remember they were like Never mind. Um, Robert Fleck obviously used to play for Norwich. Actually, I think I'm pretty sure I remember that name. If that, or I've just made that up completely. But I'm pretty sure he did. You so let's have a look. Pretty sure I remember that name. Yeah, of course he did. He used to play for Norwich quite a bit. And I did remember that name. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I wasn't wrong because he's my, he's my club. Ricky Martin, obviously the head of the academy. He actually does a very good job. As you see some of the players we've uh, produced over the last few years. Not necessarily made it over the last season or so, actually. Or the last one or two seasons or so. He's actually done a very good job of that. David Watson. Uh, he looks nothing like that in real life. He's got um, sort of the old Robert Green sort of style hair he used to have when he used to play for Norwich. He's got that sort of style hair now, and that look just makes him look really weird. Obviously, he is also England's goalkeeping coach. That's probably why John Ruddy gets called up so often. But yeah, I'm probably going to actually look for a new assistant manager as well because Colin Coldwood is a, is a not very good one. He may look good on here, but he's actually not that good. So I probably will be terminating his contract um, and then sort of letting you know in the next video if I've done so or not. Uh, what else was I going to look at there? Norwich. Norwich City. Um, well, let's have a look first of all. See if I can get Smith. Don't normally have this meeting with her. You normally have it with um, uh, David McNally, which is starting a bit weird, to be honest. Because I don't normally sort of see this happen. I normally have it with David McNally. I don't know why. Let's see if I can have a look. As I'd like to strengthen all areas. What? They never. Oh, right, I've just heard about that today. Someone's tried it. I thought, like, you know what? Go on, let me have it. Oh, okay. I haven't agreed any philosophies yet. But that's fine. Let's um, let's do these meetings now. And that I'll probably just see the end of this first video. So, right. Hi, Jay. Welcome to the Canaries. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to welcome to the club before handing over to your assistant manager, who's going to discuss staff responsibilities with you. I'll probably ask him to do the friendlies. Um, skip them. Uh, get straight into the season. Get straight into the heart of the season. I I want to I, I want to, I, ah, sorry about that. I also want to ensure you that you have the full backing of the board, and we wouldn't have hired you if we didn't feel that you're the right person to propel the club forward. Great. Let's get this meeting started. I'm not going to read the rest of that as no need. Ah, I I know the history of the club. Um, obviously, yeah, that's very nice budgets. Uh, obviously, I've just asked for more money as you saw uh, a few seconds ago. I'd have to. Great, those expectations are exactly in line. Develop club using the club system. So all this is quite new. I've no, I managed Norwich sort of when the first when I first got the game, uh, when I first actually on the demo actually when I first started managing Norwich, I got that the demo after a couple of weeks after it came out. 
and I uh, started managing Norwich and none of this was happening, I didn't get this I, I, I got um, none, obviously this is an update they've done and I will be using it because I will be using um, sort of Josh Murphy probably Carlton Morris, Adel Gaffaiti and Jacob, Mo um, Jake, Jacob Murphy depending on who I loan out and who I actually keep at the club uh, I don't feel the meeting's required, I'm happy to, I'm not going to bother asking for any more uh, yes I will do the interview the, um, not the interview, the um, press conference I should have called it, thank you and I hope to have a long successful career at Norwich I know exactly who you are and you're getting sacked mate yes, yes that sounds like a great idea yeah I'll just do that yes please it would be great to see some say a summary of the second opinions right yeah I'll talk about that I know, I know roughly what you say now you can read them if you wish um, would you like to arrange a, a meeting with the rest of your staff yes that would be a great opportunity I need to meet them uh, every, on, a, on a monthly basis I think it's about right three months normally too long or two weeks or a couple of weeks to do that often to be honest um, I'll leave all them I can do all them myself but I will ask him uh, just take control of friendlies, which is yes, please. Can you control the friendlies? And uh, thanks for your help. I need to find. I know where to find you. Have any news announced? Uh, right now, in this video, I'll probably have to do the meet the players and the uh, backroom staff. So let's click that. Passionate. I think we can finish in a safe mid table. You would. Where's I don't know why, but where's Tulahan always seems to think um, that. We can't achieve it. I don't know why. He just he just doesn't fancy it. Um, right, let's have a look. I don't know why he just never fancies it. Every save I've ever done with Norwich, he just said, oh, "I don't think you. I don't think you can do that." I was like, Shame I asked you. Stephen Naismith. I could probably afford him now. No, scout him. Ah, oh, the moment tactics, thanks, mate. Uh, yeah, I'm aware of all these people. I'm not going to bother looking at them because I'm aware of all of them. And uh, Jack Corbett. And I think that's going to be it for this video. I've done a very sort of, I feel quite in depth sort of report of Norwich basically. These logos look differently. And obviously, in the next video, it will probably be transfers and probably an overview of my pre season. And then the third episode will be straight in that seat, will be straight in with the games. So thank you for watching and leave a like and subscribe to the FM Nutters channel. Thank you very much.